again coffee not beer it's 10 a.m <laughs> welcome back guys thank you for coming back if you're new here thank you for coming to hang out so today's video is going to be your introduction to the spring 2022 collection spring is my favorite collection to make every single year i have absolutely no chill when it comes to creating spring colors so there are 15 shades in this collection i'm sorry that i know it's a lot and i always like i kind of go back and forth is that too many should i you know make it less but then i'm thinking no i love spring everybody can you hear my dog back there he is just snarfling around and everything uh, he won't he won't leave so if you hear him just try to ignore him frank out of here bud come on um, okay, so there are 15 shades. Everybody loves spring. I love spring. You can pick and choose. You can. You don't have to buy the whole collection, but I want to give as many colorful, bright springtime options as possible because I can't. I can't slow down when it comes to spring. I love it. It's just such a lovely time of year where the snow is going away, and it's not yet. It's still. I mean, it's snowing here right now, but. It's coming. The good weather is coming. Longer days, you know, you know all, all the things that come with spring. You you know there. Um, so the spring collection is launching March fifth at ten a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I never know if it's Eastern Time or Eastern Standard Time, but I'm in Ontario, so it's ten a.m. Ontario time. Um, and also, more big news for March fifth. The new liquids are ready. I've sent them out to a few people, they've tested them, they love them as much as I do, and uh, yeah, they are coming March 5th, same time, so that means starter kits are going to restock, uh, the liquids are going to be restocked, and um, for the first bit, and I know that this is annoying because on the customer side, um, when I was buying liquids, I knew, like, I didn't l like it to be this way, but now that I'm offering them, I kind of understand more why it's offered this way for the first bit I'm going to sell them only in um, sets only all three liquids that you need because there is a bit of a difference with these guys and here's the here they are there we go these guys compared to the old liquids and that is timing um, so the activator in these is a little bit different than the activator in my old sets um, so to have you understand, like, get the full benefit of these liquids uh, all together, I am only going to offer them as a set so that they work the way they should and the way that I know that they will when all used together. I haven't had a ton of time because, as you know, I scrambled to get another supplier uh, when my chemical guy retired. Um, so, yeah, I had to get another supplier. I didn't have a ton of time to test them with all kinds of different. Uh, bases and top coats and stuff from other brands so I know these three work amazingly together I haven't tested them with other things so for the first bit I am selling them only as a set I apologize I'm sorry I know that kind of stinks but I I don't want somebody using um, you know a different brand with my base and, and top coat or whatever and then it's not performing as I know that they will when all used together I will be doing more testing with other brands in the meantime and um, once I see that everything works perfectly fine together as I'm sure it will I just can't guarantee that yet uh, I will then separate them and you can buy them you know individually a, a, a base cure and a gloss anyways so that was that these are the new bottles I love them the brush on them is perfect they're perfect okay so I am going to show you guys you've been seeing some of the spring on my phalanges here I'm gonna show you guys the spring collection in depth so that means I have to flip down set up my desk space and and show you guys I've done a couple manicures with them I'll throw pictures somewhere in the video I haven't decided where yet uh, and I sent off a bunch of colors to my ambassadors and I have a couple guest ambassadors for the spring collection that I am so excited about because they're so talented uh, yeah so I'm gonna cut this off here and I'm going to flip down and show you guys the spring 2022 collection I'm so excited I'm so excited to show you <laughs> okay I'll see you in a minute guys okay guys here we are so I'm gonna give you first a close-up look at the liquid bottles um, because I love them <laughs> so you have to see them um, and yeah they aren't 
clear anymore and that is because uh, UV light really does affect the longevity of your liquids. Um, I know it, a lot of people really like the clear bottles but these ones are just hardier like they're easier to transport for me um, less likely of anything you know breaking in transit and we all know that if a, a liquid breaks in transit it's pretty much the worst thing ever so uh, yeah that's what the liquids bottles look like and I'm gonna show you the brush because it's it's a flat brush I've been using this one like crazy as you can tell it's kind of stained um, yeah flat brush white like kind of clear I love when I have like a bit of a clear brush and you can see what you're doing through it a little bit so you can kind of get better control um, they fan beautifully I just I, I love the new setup going on um, I am going to film another kind of like beginner's guide with these liquids I know that I have one up on on the channel right now but it is using um, different liquids and the timing as I said on my new ones are it, it's a little bit different so I'm gonna do another another beginner's guide, another how to use these liquids. Um, and I will also be sending information cards with all the new sets for the first little while until everybody's used to them again. Uh, and then I'm not likely to send out the information because, you know, the environment. And uh, I'll have all the instructions up on the website, which is not killing trees to send to you guys. Um, okay, so spring collection. Um, ignore this hand it is I dyed my hair and I also dyed my hands at the same time so the spring collection oh my gosh I'm so excited so I'm wearing uh, two of the colors right now I am wearing neon dream sickle on my thumb and as peekaboos and stuff here and this fancy little glitter is called spiked slurpee I love these colors oh uh, okay so uh, I'm also thinking I might film a quick tutorial on the peekaboo because I see a lot of people complaining that it's really hard and annoying and you have to file a million times and you don't, I, I don't, I have a different way. I don't, I don't, it might not be a different way from other people, but I have a different way than uh, the annoying way to do it. So I will film a tutorial on how to do it, uh, probably in the next couple days. Anyways, so the rest of the spring collection, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna lay them all out here for you for you to take a peek at. Uh, and then I will go through them individually, but I mean, I mean, really, I, it's, ah, oh, God, spring. Okay, so this little number here, this is called Mini Egg. It is a baby blue base with uh, small, very, very brightly colored foils in there, and there are a lot of colors, so, um, Every swatch is gonna come out different, every nail is gonna come out different. I kind of love that about it. Um, but yeah, the neon foil in there is just perfection. And it really does look kind of like a, a chocolate mini egg. I did a mani with this, I'll put it at the end of the video. Next up is galoshes. And I know what you're thinking, yellow. A lot of people, like yellow is kind of a polarizing color for nails and uh, I would absolutely agree with that. But this is like putting sunshine on your fingers. It is a very, very pretty yellow. It's not like, I don't know, an infection yellow. You know what I mean? Like it's not, it, this is like intentionally bright for spring. It looks like I'm saying, it looks like sunshine on your nails. And a few of my ambassadors got this color and they have adorable manis with it and a lot of them have said as well i don't usually like yellow i was scared when you sent me this but i put it on and i love it so i hope you guys love it too it's really pretty i might use it next um and what do we have up next oh oh up next is happy thoughts so this is a mint kind of shifty fine glitter it's not super fine but it's also not anywhere near chunky or even medium um a mint glitter with a transparent mint base and this guy changes color in the sun this will go a lovely lilac purple in the sun um, I will of course take pictures of that and put it up um, on the Facebook group that I'll link below and also obviously on the listing on the website when the uh, collection launches but it's gorgeous and because it is kind of like more of a neutrally iridescent in this state and goes kind of purpley like purple lilac-y sort of ish I don't know lilac yeah we'll say lilac um 
In the sun, you can pair it with so many things, and it is one of my favorite new glitters. Yeah, happy thoughts. This is happy thoughts. And next up is a greeny, kind of like a tealy green, but not really. It's kind of like mid-tone. It's not bright. It's not a, like, um, like a dark, and this is called Lily Pad. And I think the name is very suiting because it is kind of a natural color. Um, it is a green, so, you know, nature. Um, yeah, and it's just, it's a really great accent to Happy Thoughts and a few of the other glitters in here. And it's just, I feel like it's a green that not a lot of um, other shops offer. And I think green can be very much used as a neutral and I love using green as a neutral. So yeah, lily pad, that is lily pad. Next up we have, oh, one of my favorites. This dip is called Take a Hike because it's the springtime. So go out and enjoy nature, take a hike. Um, it is a bubblegum pink base with like cyan colored foils in there. Uh, just another really fun, bright, bring back the bright color Manny's dip for springtime. And uh, I think it would work really well for Easter as well. Just super cute. I think it like this would be a standalone Manny. You don't have to pair this with anything. Just put it on all your fingers and uh, yeah, enjoy it. I love this dip. There's so many that I'm like, oh, I want to use that next, but I don't know. I'm going to go through all of them and use all of them eventually, of course. Ooh, okay. So this one, this one is, um, it's just like a super bright pink and it's called Cheery Blossom. And I know, I know it's going to look like I made a typo, but I didn't. I'm not intending to call this Cherry Blossom. It's Cheery Blossom because it is bright and it is cheerful. And uh, it just... I really don't want people to think that I made a typo. I know that cherry is C-H-E-R-R-Y and cherry is C-H-E-E-R-Y. It's intentional, I promise. It's not a typo. Um, yeah, so again, a bright pink that you can pair with pretty much anything uh, for spring or wear it by itself. And yeah, this, this color matte as well is gorgeous. I'm gonna do like a half matte swatch that I will put up on, on the website or even just put on the Facebook group, so. Yeah, Cherry Blossom. And this guy, oh, you know what? I made this to pair with Cherry Blossom, but it kind of like, I, on my swatch ring, I've got it next to a bunch of other things over and over again because I've been like reorganizing the swatches because I don't know why. I just, I do that sometimes. Um, and it looks so amazing next to so many other colors. And this dip is called Sunset. And it is like a, a mid-tone but very vibrant purple with like pearl matte chunky orange glitter in it and um, kind of unexpected I told here I told my husband that I was planning on make a dip that is purple and orange and he's like oh that sounds interesting and I could tell that he was like mmm -hmm, that's gonna be ugly but I love this I love this combo I, I really truly do like I'm wearing it like see you can put it next to this guy that I've got on the neon dreamsicle and it looks amazing and you can put it next to cherry blossom of course and it looks amazing and you can even put it next to lily pad and I think it's just like one of those unexpected dips that you wouldn't typically think would go together, but it's just really fun and it's perfect for spring, I think, for bringing back, you know, the new new brights and uh, yeah, very excited about it. So yeah, sunset. I love sunset. So pretty. Next up we have Pristine. And I used this in a Manny and I sneak peeked it in the group and on my Instagram. Um, and it is just like a really nice mint, but not like a neon mint, if you know what I'm saying. Like it's not like super vibrant mint. It's just kind of like chilled out, bright, but not not in your face. So you can kind of pair it with um, any of the other neutrals that you have, or you can use it to calm down a neon that you already have in your collection. Um, I just think, again, it's a green, it's a, a natural color, and I just, I really gravitate towards like natural colors in the springtime, so I made a couple for you. And I love this because it's a very, very clean green. Clean green, maybe I should have called it that, no. Okay, next we have Verbena Pop. And this dip is, I, you can't, the pictures, even the video, don't do it justice. It's just the coolest 
all glitter a couple different shades of purple in there and it's got some flakes in there it's it's like it honestly in person i i can't get a picture of it to do it justice but it's gorgeous and uh yeah it is also i think pretty enough to be a standalone like if you want to just throw glitter all over your nails do it with verbena pop i love it all right up next i told you this was a big collection i'm sorry guys i'm sorry up next is morning mist and this is i don't want to call it teal it's not teal it's like um it's kind of like just a bright aqua and i don't know if the camera it's it's so tricky with with colors and cameras and different screen resolutions and all that stuff but yeah i will call it a very neon aqua vibrant aqua color um it just it reminds me of like a tropical pool like on a vacation or something it's uh i love this color too and again it goes really well with this this guy here the um spiked slurpee and it also goes really well with neon dreamsicle yeah it's just a really versatile bright blue and next up is of course the spiked slurpee as you saw so um this has a lot of different glitters in it it has some coral it has some iridescent it has some like green to purple shifting and then it also has that chunky really really cool like pearl um aqua blue that goes really really well with morning mist um again you can kind of like because i've got so many glitters in there and i just threw so like it's kind of like the kitchen sink glitter like i put so many glitters in here you can kind of pair it with anything and again another unexpected glitter combination I think but very pretty um yeah I know I sent this out to a few people as well and I'm hoping uh to get some photos of what they decided to do with it up soon uh and let's just move right along because again I'm sorry there's so many dips in this collection but I love it Ooh, do drop do drop is next and it has the iridescent, it has the pearl glitter, it has just, again, so many things. I, it's seen it's, oh, it shifts, ooh, shifts. I made this initially to go with the next color that I have up, which is April Showers, so I'll just show it to you together. Uh, April Showers is like a, a, a neon pastel, does that make sense? Not really, but I'm going to say it. It's like a neon pastel, true purple. Uh, and it, it pairs super, super well with Dewdrop. And uh, yeah, it's kind of like, I feel like these would be good transition shades from this like dreary, yucky, what's left of winter into spring. And then like you could even use this in the summertime, pair it with something extra bright. And it's, I just think it's great. And this, you know, pastel neon uh, purple is kind of like a, a staple color. Like you kind of just need to have this purple in your collection to pair with a million other things because it's purple and purple's amazing. And the last two dips I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you them together just in, for the sake of time. Um, this guy here, this is Guava Glow and it is a uh, peachy shifty also a surprise because the glitters in this glow in the dark and boy do they ever it is bright 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 sorry my husband came home i had to pause for a second anyways so it has um a bunch of shifty glitters in it it also has like that new texturized kind of 3d glitter can i focus on that probably not but i'll get it in some photos for you uh and like i said it glows in the dark it's really cool pretty unique dip um, and it pairs perfectly well with a neon dreamsicle and I made these two to go kind of together uh, but then I saw neon dreamsicle and it kind of pairs with everything because it's it's like the perfect bright it's like a neon coral kind of I, I think it leans more coral than orange um, kind of depending on what you pair it with anyways uh, so yeah that is the whole of the spring 2022 collection um, I'm going to again of course throw some pictures at the end of the video uh, so you guys can get a better close-up look at these and uh, you're also going to be seeing a whole bunch of manis coming out of the ambassadors and some of the guest ambassadors that I'm again super excited about to have working with me uh, because they are so talented and I'm so thankful that they um, were kind enough to 
do this with me. And uh, so yeah, that is it for spring 2022. Again, it's launching March 5th at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and uh, also with the new liquids. And again, I'm going to put up some instructions for these guys because the timing, again, tiny bit different, um, a little bit easier. I think you don't have to like set timers and all that kind of stuff like you used to with the older style liquids uh, and much harder to contaminate as well. So um, I'm going to cut it off here. I will put a few pictures up at the end and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for hanging out. Bye.